Hello, Reddy Ruffers. Hope you are doing good. MRI knee joint is a very common and an important MRI. So we have to know about this MRI knee joint technique, patient positioning and processing. So without further ado, let's start the MRI. The first, position the patient feet first supine and place the knee joint on the knee coil and like the image and set the knee coil gently and support the knee joint so that the knee cannot move and center the laser light on the midpoint of the knee coil. So let's introduce the protocols first. So at first there is uh, two localizers here. The first localizer gives us only axial images. And then the second localizer, we will plan on the first localizer to get sagittal coronal and axial images. And then we get sagittal coronal and axial images. And in this localizer, second localizer, we'll plan all the protocols. So, and now the new protocol is, the first protocol is the PD fat set axial or transverse. And then T2 team coronal or STR coronal. T1 TAC coronal. So there is two coronal protocol and then T2 sagittal and T2 team sagittal or STR sagittal and PD sagittal. So in our institution, we take these six protocols routinely. And if you want additional protocol for ligaments, you can take like T2 coronal oblique or T2 sagittal oblique you can take this, no problem. So now the localizer, fast localizer is running or is scanning. And the localizer axial image is shown on the window. So we will now plan the localizer, second localizer for sagittal, coronal, and axial. So after selecting the couple graphics on, I move the slices on the image, axial image, and angling the slices so that the proper image we get, the proper image, and angle the parallel to the left and right condyle of the femur. Sorry, lateral and medial condyle of the femur. And now I'm waiting for the second localizer image to come. So I get the localizer, sagittal, coronal, and axial. Now I'm planning the axial, PD fat set axial, and plan the axial slices on the coronal and sagittal image. And on the sagittal image, plan the slices perpendicular to the line of the femur and tibia, and on the coronal image, parallel to the medial and lateral condyle of the femur. Angle the slices on the coronal image so that the slices are parallel to the lateral and medial condyle of the femur. And cover the slices so that the slices covers from the tibial diversity to the 
upper border or superior border of the patella and then click apply and now i am planning for t2 team or str coronal and for str coronal image plan on the sagittal and axial image so on the axial image so now i am planning on the sagittal image so on the sagittal image angle the slices so that the slices are parallel to the midline of the femur and tibia and on the axial image the slices are parallel to the medial and lateral condyle of the femur. So after the proper planning, uh, click the apply button. And my two coronal protocols have been ready for the scan. And now I am planning for sagittal. So I am planning for T2 sagittal image. So for sagittal image we have to plan on the coronal and axial image so on the axial image plan the sagittal slice block so that the slices are parallel to the lateral condyle of the femur and on the coronal image plan the slices so that the slices are parallel to the midline of the femur and tibia. And ensure that the slices cover the whole knee from right to left. And after the proper planning, click apply. And when I plan the T2 sagittal, the rest, the protocol, rest of the sagittal protocols had copied this plan and we don't need to plan these two. So all the protocols have planned and ready for scan. And so now I am going to filming. So I am showing the PD facet axial. And I'm going to pin these axial images. So I've selected the series and copy to film sheet. And also the reference image for axial images. And I'm sending the image to the filming. And on the filming, there is two film. So I am changing the layout to five into six format so that the 30 image can enter into the film. And I have to delete one image for the reference image. And I remove all the reference images in, from all the segment. And now set the zoom pan and window The window and contrast will be accurate and then trim the paint, print the film. And now I'm showing the coronal images. This is the STR coronal and this is the T1 coronal. So for this, I, I have to select the series and send the series to the film. So I'm sending the T2 STR coronal to, to the film and now I am extracting the reference images. I heard the scan stopped for any reason. So I, I will repeat the scan.
So this is the reference image for sagittal image. I send the sagittal image to the film and also the coronal images. I select the series and send it to the film and also the reference image. So now in the filming, I have to film one is steer coronal and one is T1. And the film format is four into five. And total is 20 images, including the reference image. So I'm adjusting the window as I like. And also the reference image window and zoom pan. So after the all the zoom panning and windowing complete, I will print that these two images. So I print the two coronal images together. So this is the T2 sagittal and this is the ACL and this is the PCL. ACL for anterior cruciate ligament and PCL for posterior cruciate ligament. And I am sending the uh, series T2 sagittal to the film sheet. And this is the film and I am removing the reference images from the segments and selecting the film. I'm Zoom in the images and also the adjust the reference image. And print out the film. And now the T2 STR says it all. This is the ACL slightly signal change and this is the PCL looking normal. And selecting the series and sending the series to the filming and now I'm in the film. So I'm adjusting the zoom padding in contrast for T2 STR sagittal. I think this is the fifth film I will print. And the film is printed. And this is the PD sagittal. The PD sagittal image is ligament shows very well. And selecting the series, send it to the film and also the reference image of this series. So I am in the film sheet. I could I am removing the reference image from the segments and adjusting the zoom pan. And adjusting the reference image and window. After the proper adjustment, print the image. Sorry, print the, print the film. And this is the sixth film I printed. So thanks for watching this MRI new time. Hope you uh, hope you enjoy the video. So if you like the video, please subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. And see you next time in the next video.